Hi everyone, in today's video I am showing you the most delicious, rich chocolate cupcakes. It's coming right up. Hi everyone, welcome back to my kitchen. I am Amy from Neurotic Mom Bakes. And I am showing you my super rich, super moist, delicious chocolate cupcakes and they're really easy to throw together really fast. So we are going to start with our dry ingredients. First of all, I preheated my oven to 325 degrees. And now into my mixer. You can do this with a hand mixer or a stand mixer, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna put all of my dry ingredients, starting with a half a cup of granulated sugar. And then I'm going to add one cup of packed brown sugar. Then I'm going to add one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, one cup of cocoa, unsweetened cocoa. It can be light or dark. Ooh. And then in here I have one and a half teaspoons of baking soda and also one and a half teaspoons of baking powder and then a teaspoon of salt. And let me just double check. I think that's it for my dry ingredients. Yes, yeah, so now I'm just gonna kind of Turn this on low and mix it together just a little bit. Break up the brown sugar. And then we're going to add our wet ingredients. So next I'm going to crack two eggs. It's best if your eggs are at room temperature, you'll get a better rise on your cupcakes. I'm gonna add those. And mix that up first. Okay, and then while that's mixing, I'm going to slowly add in one cup of buttermilk. Again, it's better if this is at room temperature. However, it's not the end of the world if you put cold eggs or cold buttermilk in there, it's okay. And then a half a cup of vegetable oil. I'm gonna stop this and scrape down the bottom of my mixing bowl. And then I'm going to show you the secret last ingredient for really rich cupcakes. Cupcakes, I feel like, tend to dry out a lot faster than cakes. So adding this one extra element is just going to bump up the moisture level. I'm just gonna make sure I get everything off the bottom of the bowl. And it's dripping, let's get this back on here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and turn my faucet on because I'm going to add some hot water and I want it as hot as I can get it. I'm gonna turn this on low and add my hot water, but I don't wanna over mix, so just until it's barely come together. And in fact, you can actually finish this off by hand. You never wanna over mix cake or cupcake batter. Okay, until it's just combined. Now your batter is gonna be a little bit runny and that's okay, that's what we want, it's all that moisture in there. I've got some muffin tins lined with cupcake liners and I have an ice cream scoop and I'm going to fill them about halfway full. Okay, so this is going to yield about 24 to 30 cupcakes, just depending on how full you fill them. And they will go in my oven at 325 degrees for 16 to 19 minutes, just until they're fully cooked. And when you touch them, they lightly spring back. You can also do the toothpick test. Okay, I have these delicious cupcakes out of the oven. I have let them cool completely. And I've been trying to think of, is there any flavor that doesn't go with chocolate? I'm thinking you could frost this with peanut butter buttercream, Oreo buttercream, chocolate, obviously, vanilla. 
I mean, raspberry buttercream? I can't think of one. Um, everything goes with chocolate, right? But I'm gonna go ahead and just put some of my chocolate buttercream right on the top here for the perfect chocolate cupcake. Like how good does that look? ultimate chocolate cupcake. Hope you give this one a try. Let me know what you think. And if you want to see more recipes like this one, please subscribe to my channel. See you next time.